Klaus, I'm going to start working on your topping for your orange uh, raisin sticky buns. We've got some butter here that I'm going to melt with brown sugar, a whole lot of honey. It needs to be sticky. <laughs> the nice thing about the honey is it keeps the, the glaze nice and fluid in the pan too, so it doesn't crystallize as much. Orange zest, cinnamon, and some orange juice concentrate, so it really gives a nice punch of flavor. And I'm just going to stir this until all the sugar is dissolved. It'll take about five minutes. In the meantime, would you prepare the dough? So Melina, here's the cool thing about this product. I have two pieces of leftover dough from a previous production. And while you're cooking the sticky topping, I'm going to roll this out in a rectangle of about 12 by 12 inches. And this sticky bun topping is enough for yeah, about two pieces of about a pound, a pound and a half each. And I like doing this because if I ever have an extra piece of dough left from a production, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, I will never have extra, um, any extra leftovers, but it's a nice way to add another product to your product line, as well as utilizing these beautiful natural raisins we have available all year round. I bet this would be good with some sweet roll dough if you had that leftover, because really the raisins are the star of the show. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this out, 12 by 12. Um, I think your sticky topping is almost done, which if you would please deposit it on your half sheet pan. I've sprayed the pan so that this will unpan more easily. Otherwise, the topping will re-solidify pretty quickly after it comes out of the oven. Just pour it out. And I'll move it around here too so that it just coats it nice and evenly. It will cool a little more quickly also because it's in a thinner sheet. Well, thank you, Melina. In the meanwhile, I roll out my two leftover dough pieces to about 12 by 12 inches and making sure that I have two nice rectangle pieces. I'm gonna use the remainder of the brown sugar and equally sprinkle it over the two dough pieces, as well as our golden natural raisins. Thank you. Melina, if you could, would you please roll this up sure. into a log? When I roll into a log, I keep tucking the dough underneath itself so that I get a nice, tight, uniform cylinder and I'm actually pulling it up slightly so that it helps it maintain its shape. If it starts to get away from me at all, I can square it off from the bottom so that I end up with a nice rectangle. And then when I get close to the end, I give it another nice tightening motion. Do you like to seal your edge a little bit? Yes, a little bit of water. water. It will also ensure, if you roll it up nice and tight, just like you demonstrated to us, that we have no air pockets at the end of um, the baking. We're gonna cut the cylinder into one inch pieces and deposit it onto our pan. Four by five? Four by five. Four by five. They are, by laying them out four by five, it gives the sticky buns enough room to expand. There we go. And we proof them until they are about double in size, not only in height, but also the width, and then bake them in a preheated oven at 375. These are ultimately going to bake into one another, leaving the sides nice and soft. 